Hello Wax Friends, Maggie here. Welcome back to my channel. It is Saturday evening. Um, we have spent the day in the pool. We've spent the day getting food ready for tomorrow. Hopefully, well not hopefully, I know. Um, all the kids will be here tomorrow except for one. She is about five and a half hours away and she was just here last week and so she won't be making it but everybody else will be here. So we got in the pool and then I made Brad a cherry delight for Father's Day, which is one of his favorites. I made him this, um, it's like cottage cheese and whipped cream and mandarin oranges and pineapple and jello mixed together. He loves that. I made him one of those. I made, I cut up fruit. I made homemade fruit dip. He smoked pork loin. We're gonna have burn-ins tomorrow and then we're gonna have this crock pot corn that I do with cream cheese and sugar, all kinds of stuff that's bad for you. And I think we're gonna do baked beans, some kind of, you know, the baked beans with the hamburger and stuff in them. I think that's what we're gonna do tomorrow. So we've been doing that. Um, yesterday, it was a rock and Friday night as opposed to the rock and Saturday night we're having tonight. We went and got groceries, yay, you know, always a good time for us. Got our Starbucks and then we had to go to the liquor store. So, yes, this video is going to be a little candle, a little wax, but it's also going to be a few of my favorite things, I guess. I don't know if favorite thing, I don't know if that's the right way to put it, but just three things that I think are interesting, okay? So, we go to the liquor store, and now, we spent $179 at the grocery store. We spent $152 at the liquor store. We're really not over drinkers it's just we have a pool and we're outside all the time in the summer and so brad likes beer and he likes peach crown and i like vodka and pretty much we'll try any kind of those fancy vodka drinks but i i struggle with carbonation i've had um a weight loss surgery and i i struggle really bad with carbonation so I don't know if you all have heard about mom water and I didn't bring one in here. That's what I was going to bring for this video. But anyway, there's this new stuff out. It's called mom water and it is super hella expensive. I mean, not even worth. Okay. I'm going to take that back. It's just really expensive. So for, I think for a four pack last night, I paid $9.99 for a four pack, but so far, I've seen six different varieties, and they're all named after women. There's a Karen, a Julie, a Sandy, um, Karen, Julie, Sandy. Oh my gosh, now I'm like drawing a blank. Okay, here's the thing about them. They're like zero calories, no sugar, and they're non-carbonated. The only thing is, they taste like a watered-down flavored water. So what I do is I buy just the sugar-free lemonade packets like the Walmart brand, put it in a big cup with um, ice and pour the drink in there. And that gives it a little bit of flavor because to me, they really don't have a ton of flavor, but there's no carbonation and I love that. So otherwise I just buy big bottles of vodka and put it in some lemonade and put it in my cup and get in the pool and there you have it. Okay. So, while we're at the liquor store, I don't know if you all have heard about whip shots. So, I just heard about them yesterday. The kids were telling me about them. Um, Cardi B, I don't know. I think she's a singer. Is she like, I don't know what she is. I think she's some sort of performer or singer. But this is like her brand. So I couldn't find them. We're in the liquor store. I couldn't find them. I was like, well, hell. So we get up to the checkout and there they are. I was like, oh my gosh, you know. So there's three flavors. There is a vanilla, uh, a caramel, and there was a mocha. And I was like, I don't see a price. The guy behind the counter, they're $15. I said, each? Yes. So I only got two instead of three. But, um... Okay, here's the deal. These are vodka-infused whipped creams. Ultra-premium vodka with natural and artificial flavors. 
uh, 10% alcohol. It's, it's, it's a novelty. I, I won't buy them again. I will not purchase these again. I love, especially in the winter, I love to have hot cocoa in the evening. I put a little peppermint shops or peppermint vodka in it and put some whipped cream on top. I love that. It's just comforting and, you know, um, I personally, I'll go buy, back to buying my, um, buying my, uh, whipped cream at Aldi. They have flavored whipped creams there in the can. I would rather do that and just put a little vodka in my, in my hot cocoa. But anyway, I thought they were cool. Like I said, there's a mocha one. I didn't get the mocha one because they're $15 piece, right? Crazy. Okay. So I'm going to show you that. And then I've been wanting to show you my cup and I keep forgetting. Does anybody follow Jimmy and Clarence on Instagram? I do. I love this dog. I, you cannot convince me that this dog really isn't talking on their videos. I adore this dog. Well, I paid the money and I got myself a Save Clarence cup. He has sweatshirts and t-shirts. I think sweatshirts, some sort of shirts and other items. And I'm going to get me a shirt because I love this dog. Love this dog. But yeah, they're on Instagram, Jimmy and Clarence. I, I crack up. I laugh out loud. And the last thing before we get into the candles and the wax, I'm like six and a half minutes in. Okay. We're popcorn people. Well, my daughter, Sydney, and I are. Have you guys seen sweet corn popcorn? Now, we found this. I actually first found sweet corn popcorn probably about three years ago in Ohio at a Speedway. They have their own brand. I think Speedway's now. Are they bought by 7-Elevens? Some big gas station chain just got bought out by 7-Eleven. I can't remember what it was. But regardless. Um... So we don't have speedways in Illinois. We were in Ohio and we were all over. So this HERS brand make a sweet corn popcorn. We find it at Kroger now. I found it at Aldi and I found it at uh, Five and Below and Blaine's Farm and Fleet. I don't know if y'all, I don't know. Is Blaine's Farm and Fleet a national thing? I don't know. But anyway, it's just a regular sweet corn popcorn. Well, Sydney the other day found fire roasted Mexican street corn. Okay, this shit is so good. It's addicting. This one's got a little, a little bit more of a spice to it, a little bit more of a kick. So I can't eat it like I can with the other. The other bag, I just sit down on the couch in 10 minutes, the whole bag is gone. This one, my mouth catches on fire and I have to stop. So this bag lasts me. But yeah, um, they carry the regular street corn, uh, not street corn, sweet corn popcorn at our Kroger. I can't remember where she said she found that. She was in Cape. Um, sometimes Aldi also has a sweet corn popcorn. Not all the time. I, not Aldi, sorry. Aldi does have it sometimes. Um, uh, Sam's. Sam sometimes has a sweet corn popcorn. Okay, I'll eat anything with corn in it. I love corn. I love all kinds of corn. We're big sweet corn people, and the farmers in town will bring us bags of sweet corn when it's the, the corn is ready. And then um, my sister-in-law lives in South Carolina who's coming. She would bring sweet corn, too, when she would come for homecoming, but she's coming so early this year to help with the house and stuff. I don't know if that's going to happen. So hopefully our area has some good sweet corn this year. But, like, we cook it all up. I put it in the fridge, and I eat it. I ate it for breakfast. I ate it cold. I don't have to warm the shit up. I don't have to put butter on it. Nothing. I just dig in. I love it. Okay. So now that you know how weird I am, let's talk Bath and Body Works semi-annual sale. I got my second order of this semi-annual sale. And this one is probably the, the best one, I think, because I got in on this $6 and change candles. Were they six, $6.48, $6.49, something like that? I don't know. But I got, I got some good ones. I really did. Um, all of these are candles that I've had before except one. We'll go ahead and do that one first. I don't know why I didn't try this one. I got a Merry Mistletoe. Now, this is Frozen Cranberries, Sparkling Pear, Icy Peppermint, and Balsam Branches. I checked my spreadsheet. I don't, don't have this. Yeah, and this is just a sweet. You get the balsam and the... Um, the mint, definitely. Uh, I don't get any pear. 
but I get a, I get a berry. I get that fresh berry. I like this one. This one's really good. So I like that. I'm happy with that. I grabbed a mahogany balsam, juniper berry, fresh balsam, mahogany wood. I know that I have at least one of these. Yeah, this is mahogany, mahogany heavy. Um, on cold, I don't get the berry per se. Maybe some balsam. But this is a fantastic performer. This one is great. I think I think Bath and Body Works um, tree candles. I don't know if I found one that has not performed for me. I think their tree candles are really good, really strong performers. Tree Farm. I know I have another one of these. Crisp pine needle, warm cedar, and spiced apple. Yeah, and this one is is totally different than the than the balsam. Yeah, I I really like this one. This one, this one reminds me of outside. This one reminds me more of being outside. You definitely get more of the tree, the pine, the pine tree, and I I love pine trees. So that is a good one. And then I got three of the next one. I got three marshmallow fireside candles. Toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, fire roasted vanilla, and crystallized amber. Three of them. I think I have six or seven of these now. And this is just a sweet, gooey, toasty marshmallow. And this goes with, I mean, I have so much toasted marshmallow and, um, campfire type scents in my vendor wax. I can always pair one of these with it. Yeah, so I got three of these. So I thought that was a great deal. Like I said, these were $6 and change. So last last year at the semi-annual sale, I hit the jackpot um, on the $6 candles. They seem to have a lot more unless I've just missed it. But I get on there every morning. But um, I think they had the was it hot maple toddy maybe they had or no tis the season it was one of those they had that I had a couple more that i didn't get but um but yeah i was really happy with those okay then i got a swanky order in today and i had signed up to get one of her mystery bags and it comes just like this it was shipped in a priority bag this time. So, you know, uh, there was really nothing to show you. You know, I tend to dig into my orders and forget to take pictures, forget to video, you know, how nicely they're packed. I don't showcase any of that stuff in my videos because it's like I get an order and I just go crazy. So, I got the bakery mystery bag. I'm thinking she might have had a... I think she had a, she had a couple different to choose from. Was one more of a perfu perfumey? I'm trying to think of what I saw somebody put. Um, let me look real quick. Which I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. You can't get the damn things now. It's it's too late. But um, I'm gonna say one was like a. I don't know if it was if you would call it floral. I'm not. Um, I'm not saying what it is, right? So I'm not, I'm just gonna shut up and go on because I don't know. She had a couple to choose from anyway, I picked bakery. There we go. Okay, so the thing about Swanky, oh my gosh, I just love seeing her shapes. They, they're fantastic. Okay, the first one, Cocoa Puffs, birthday cake, sugar cookie. And I got all of these pieces. This is a considerable amount of wax in a sampler. I don't do a lot of samplers just because you, you rarely, sometimes you only get like two pieces, you know, some samplers you get, some samplers you get this much and that's all you get. And that would be great for my office. But okay. So in this case, then Cocoa Puffs, birthday cake, sugar cookie. Yeah. Um, this isn't strong, strong Cocoa Puffs. It, I think it's light on the Cocoa Puffs, but I can definitely smell them. But it's just so bakery. It's just so gooey cake type smell. So this, I got, you know, we got a closed rose. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, this is one of my favorites that she does. The corset. Just so neat. Yeah, this is, 
This is really gooey, edible smelling. Um, and the big rose, look at that. Her stuff is just beautiful. Just beautiful. And I think that her, the, the way she blends her oils, I mean, her wax, it just, it smells different. It just has a different, you know, it just has a different feeling to it. I just, I just love Swanky. The next one I got is Blueberry Zucchini Vanilla Cream Balm. Okay, I do like her blueberry. And I like this. Um, blueberry zucchini. I don't get a lot of zucchini. I get straight up blueberry in this. There's some really neat pieces. And I'll tell you, this sat in my mailbox probably for 20 minutes today. It was hot out. And I, I don't know. We were in the pool and, you know, we can see the mail truck. I, I didn't see him. Um, really. And then, um, Got a little, it's like a little, I don't know, what the hell does that look like, guys? What do you call it? Kind of like a thimble, kind of what it reminds me of. And then, oh, there's like a pet it for cake. Yeah, I got a little smooshy. Her wax is pretty small, um, soft. And, um, yeah. And the, how I know it sat out there 20 minutes is because when I did finally see him, of course, I ran out there and I opened the mailbox and there was my package. And then he would, had walked across the street and then he started coming toward me and he's like, oh, I have your mail. And I said, oh, I, you know, I thought this was it. And he goes, no, he goes, he goes, I had to put that in there. He goes, it's been in there for about 20 minutes. And I'm like, shit. So it's a little smushy, but not too bad. Well, this is really neat. Pumpkin Pecan Waffle Bear Claws Sugar Cookie Noel. This is like a layered cake. Look at that. Yeah, this is, I definitely get a, definitely get a cinnamon. I think that's that bear claws. I think I get a lot of the bear claws. Yeah, this is really good too. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? I didn't even get molds for this stuff. Okay. Okay, and then I got two of the same, which I thought was kind of strange, but I got two of Sweet on Paris, Wild Berry, Strawberry Cream Cake. So I am in a round robin, so this, I'm gonna put this, this one in the round robin box. Someone can try some swanky, maybe, who hasn't tried it. Sweet, I love Sweet on Paris. Love it. And this is so good. Um, Sweet on Paris, Wild Berry, Strawberry Cream Cake. I get some, some, I think I get some strawberry. I definitely get the Sweet on Paris, which takes on a slight, slight perfumey note to me. Slight body care. But I, I think it's great with Baker. I think Sweet on Paris and Bakery work well together. I love it. I'm a, I'm a big Sweet on Paris fan. Which what? Sweet on Paris is in it a lemon blackberry type of, of mixture. Oh, <laughs> Okay, so this one is carrot cake, cinnamon buns, cream cheese, frosting. Lots of little... Some look like little acorns. That's the word I was looking for. Some look like little thimbles. Yeah, now, I don't know about you all, but I have, I have had a few different carrot cake blends. I have never found one that's super strong, that's a really strong performer. I definitely get a, like a, not a red hot cinnamon, more like a spice cake type scent going on is what I get with this. Look at all those pieces. I mean, that I, I'll, I'll do my open concept easily. I'll try this out in there. I love that. I love that her mysteries and samplers, and her samplers are huge when she has samplers with her pre-order. Uh, vanilla Dream Cake Strawberry Pound Cake. Now y'all know, 
I love that. I do like the smell of strawberry pound cake. I've just never found a strawberry pound cake to really fall in love with on warm. I prefer more with my strawberry. I like more of the summer scoop um, type smell, the, the vibrant strawberry. This is really good. This smells like a really rich buttery cake with a light strawberry note, like the strawberry pound cake. But I'm gonna give it a whirl, heck yeah. Beautiful flowers, look at that. Got some closed flowers, another corset, and then a big, of course it's a little different, I think. And then a big flower, which I would cut into that one. I could probably cut into maybe even four. Yeah, I mean, that's nice. Some of you strawberry pound cake lovers, I'm sure would love this. You do get a real buttery cake flavor or scent note to it. Now, I've never had a shape like this from her. Strawberry sweet cakes, frosted cupcake. I've never had anything from her with sweet cakes. Now I think I like the strawberry in this is more, the strawberry in this one is more a Maggie strawberry than the strawberry pound cake. It kind of has that bite to it. Yeah, look at this. This is, look at that. Look at the detail on that. And I'm gonna turn it around. Isn't that amazing? I love this. Yeah, I, I like the strawberry a lot. This is like a, so something about a 12 cent stamp. Now, I think that's supposed to be a corset. Is that what that's supposed to be? It's amazing. Love it. Yeah, I like this one. I like this one a lot. Okay. And I think I have two more in here. Bougie Vanilla, Blackberry Scones, and Cake Pop. So we got the corset again, some closed flowers, a small flower, and then, I don't know what this other thing is. Okay, this is blackberry, but I get a sophisticated note with that blackberry. I don't know what, I don't know what that's supposed to be. Almost a, I mean, it's a sweet, a sweet blackberry, but there's something in that bougie vanilla. Is the bougie vanilla got like a Noel? Is it the like a vanilla Noel? I can't remember now. That makes it a little little more sophisticated smelling than just a straight bakery. It's not like a it's not like a vanilla cake vanilla. That's nice. I like blackberry a lot. Okay, last one. Beautiful lavender white cake and angel food cupcakes i love these colors i love lavender with bakery i'm not i don't melt at night so I, I do have a lot of lavender blends but i don't leave my warmers on all night and so i've really only done that like like brad's gone i will leave the warmers on uh, all night like one of them in my bedroom um so i don't do a ton of lavender this is a very to me this lavender is very mature and perfumey this is not a sweet lavender i don't know this isn't even this isn't herbal this is just a very mature sophisticated lavender I'm hoping some more of the white cake comes out with this because I do like look at that there. I do like lavender and bakery. If, if you watch my channel, you've, you've heard me say one of my very favorite scents is a lavender bakery. Look at that. And then great, another one of these great big open flowers. I think these are stunning. Okay, I get some of the, the, either the cupcake or the white cake. I don't know. I'm getting a little bit of the, the cake note in this big one. And I really hope it comes out on warm. 
because this is a strong, mature lavender. Yeah. Wow, I'm, I'm happy to try all of these because I don't think that, I, I don't have any of these blends in my collection from Swanky, and I have a lot of Swanky, but I none of these are, are duplicates of what I have. I mean, I've got some Blueberry Bakery. I've got a Pumpkin Pecan Waffle Bakery, um, but not the same. You know, they're, they're still a little different. So yeah, I am really happy with this order. This was, um, this was a, a nice mystery and I'm glad, I love the sizes. I love the sizes of her samplers, keep that in mind, and her mysteries. Um, they're a great deal. So yeah. So that's all I have for this Saturday night. Hope you enjoyed um, a few of my new favorite things that I'm loving right now and my candles and my wax. So um, everybody have a good night. Have a good Father's Day tomorrow. We are going to be in the pool, hopefully weather permitting. Um, we are going to eat. We know we're going to do that either way. We eat a lot in this house. And then I think we're going to go down to Brad's mom's house and take the kids down there and let them look around a little bit. We've been getting things out of cabinets and, and things like that. So let them look and see if there's anything that they would like to have or they have a special memory with or, you know, special feelings toward that they'd like to have. So yeah, we're having a good Father's Day. Hope you all do too. Thanks for watching. Bye.